What I really like is coming to work every day and cooking. That, that's, that's what I most enjoy. Since we opened in October to the Michelin Guide came out, it took us 10 months. It was great to achieve the mission and stuff, but it wasn't our main goal. When we started, there weren't that many expectations. We didn't put too much pressure on ourselves. We knew we were doing something new and we just wanted to have fun and make our guests happy. Hello, my name is Aitor. I'm the head chef here at Bass Kitchen. Basically, after cooking in other restaurants and for other chefs, I wanted to start my own type of cuisine that gave me the freedom to do what I really wanted to do. is a modern approach to traditional Basque cuisine. We tried to do a technical approach to traditional Basque cuisine with other influences. We don't lock ourselves in just doing Basque cuisine. We'll have little touches of Japanese or Singaporean here and there, but the root of it, the, the essence, is Basque because that comes naturally to me. It's part of my heritage and it represents me and my family and, and what I love. The Basque Country is a small region located in the Pyrenees between France and Spain. It consists of a northern region which is on the other side of the border in France and a southern region which is a bit bigger which is situated in the north of Spain. Mostly known for its culinary excellence and the highest concentration of Michelin stars per capita in a city which is San Sebastián and also for its traditional food as well. What makes it unique it is where it's situated geographically and mainly the produce that is very high quality produce. It's good weather, it has a really really cold waters. The quality of the fish is really high. It's rainy so it's good weather for vegetables and raising cattle and herds. Basque cuisine is a regional cuisine within the state of Spain. In its recipes and ingredients, where it's located geographically, it's quite unique. So one of my favorite dishes would be the charcoal grilled turbot with a pil pil sauce on the top or donostiarra we call it in Basque. Basically we put it on a special clamp that we brought in from the Basque country and we charcoal grill it on one side then turn it over and charcoal grill it on the other side. We let it rest and then we serve it to our guests with a sauce on the top which is an emulsion of garlic oil and its own collagen. So a turbot is a flat fish that is found in Europe mainly in the Atlantic Ocean, in this case in the Bay of Biscay which is the sea which is on the north side of the Basque country and the northern part of Spain. We cook turba because it's a very traditional fish and it's been used in the Basque country in traditional cuisine for centuries and it's widely available in the Basque country and other parts of Europe. Basically with the squid bomba rice what we do is kind of like a fusion or a new interpretation of a very traditional thing to eat in the Basque country which is squid and rice. In this case we've done it with a bit of an Asian influence so it's a squid rice and the squid we charcoal grill and we glaze with a kawayaki sauce and we finish with a black sesame alioli. So the chuleta is a special kind of beef that we have here at Bass Kitchen. Your beef is normally 20 months old. These cows are five to eight years old. Also, we dry age them for a minimum of 45 days. Dry aging is basically we use special fridges and what it does is dry ages the meat in a controlled environment and concentrates the flavours. It has more yellow fats, it has a more depth, beefy flavour, the fats are more buttery. It's more about the flavour than the texture. So we cut per order and we charcoal grill and we serve rare. The main struggle is just to get people to know about the Basque country and where it is. So that's been our main struggle, you know, educating people. For people that haven't heard about the Basque country, our restaurant hopes to educate them and show them a little piece of our culture and our cuisine.